Here we go. Let's get these carrier bearings off. If I cut the cage, then I could grab it inside that lid. Look, we've got notches here for the puller. I'm going to try to just pull it against the cage. Bearing's trash anyways. I don't even know if this slide hammer will do it. This cone goes either way. It goes the other way to lock it out, to put the jaws the other way. Or we can spin it here and pull it out. Let's, uh, maybe I ought to get up on the table. Hmm. That kind of hurts my freaking hands. So I'm gonna try a ball joint press tool with the three jaw puller down on here. Let's see if this pulls it off. They're gonna mingle the cage. <laughs> well, good. So that will not work. So now we're committed to cutting the cage. That's how I wanted to do it in the first freaking place. So we'll take this out. Okay. Should we try the slide hammer with the air hammer? Or the three jaw puller? We could use this one. This guy will go right here. Then we can try to slide hammer it. It's not a very good lip though, is it? It really isn't. Maybe I ought to go to the other one. Moving? Uh, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Put a bearing splitter inside of the cage and a two jaw puller. Now the question would be, can I hold it? And can I pull it out? It appears like it's moving. Does it? It looks like it is. Uh, let me lay it. Well, we'll blow it off. Just lay it on the carpet. Give it a little heat, take a little bit of the refrigeration off of it. It's a little cold in the shop. We got this Texas twister kit that has an adapter to go into our slide hammer kit. Put this little sleeve on here. Of course, it needs to be bottomed out. This thing doesn't really work very well when it's not bottomed out, but let's just spin it on. All right. You guys have never seen this before. This is called the Texas Twister. I don't know why it's called the Texas Twister. I don't know, but you see the concept. Let's see what happens. Oh, one of the nuts fell off. Here, put that back on there. Ready? Oh, that one came out. That one came out. Sitting here messing with the slide hammer and trying to put together anything to get a system to take these carry bearings off. I think I'm just going to order the tool. They've come down a little bit in price. You can buy them for a couple hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, look what I got. I broke my other slide hammer. Right now, Julie's looking. I just stuck that in to see what it would do. Just see if it would thread in there. It would. We could put a hub across it is what I was originally planning. Find some bolts. I can bolt this down. Really anything, just the same length. And, and then I can put the slide hammer in here. Maybe. Or, I don't know, I might just wind up cutting it. Cutting it's the easy, fail-safe way, but I'd like to be able to pull them off. And then, honestly, I'd like to be able to pull them off with whatever we have here. But if we have to buy a tool for this carrier bearing, lots of people have, there is a tool for it. So maybe that's what we'll do. Well, this is what we've came up with out of our homemade stuff. You're gonna need a bigger wrench. Yeah, before we break, I'm gonna walk in. Is it working? I've got a ball joint spacer in here. I've never really used a hub puller like this where I've, I'm not using the center, but I can tighten these into the bearing splitter. I've got the bearing splitter tightened onto the, the case of the bearing. Let's look down here and see if it's moving. Doesn't look like it's moving. Not really. Huh.
good here. You see it? I got these bolts are just the perfect length. That's as far as they're going to go. Now, as I spin the bolt, the bearing splitter is acting like the nut and it's being sucked up. So it's working pretty good. We're just some stuff that we made here at the shop. That's our spacer. That's what I used. It's out of the ball joint press and it sat right there on top of that hub. And then it sat on top of that and used as my spacer. See how close it was? And it sat right on the hub. It's warm, <laughs> but. I packaged it all up and thinking we might have to cut it. It looks great. I did not want to cut it. Everybody cut these things off. I don't want that kind of, that's like, I mean, I get it if we have to, but. Uh, I'm glad we hung out a little bit. Now I have got a bearing puller tool that I just made out of a bunch of crap that we have here at the shop. It's freaking perfect. Worked great. Got lucky 15, 16. For the size of all of them. Actually, I take these all the way out. Really? All right. Now we cut this cage off. I'm just going to cut it. Ugh. Let's see if I can cut it. Almost. I need those bigger cutters. Maybe. As long as I don't stab you. Please don't stab me. Ugh. That one's cut. You're kind of a pain in the butt to cut though, really. Almost got me. There we go. Gotta be faster than that. Okay. I think I'd rather do it like this. I should set it down like this. There you go. <laughs> the thing is spinning. There we go. Yep, look at that inside. Well, you kind of saw what the bearing looked like. Set this down nice and secure. Yep, it's very damaged. So, we'll put this back on. Yep, that's like it's gnarly looking. It didn't make it all the way around. That's alright. It's, it's damaged. We'll get that position back on there. keep it picked up because I don't want to connect you nothing down there see how it spins free it's not touching nothing so we'll go ahead and just give it a little hit it don't need a lot actually that was too much let me give it one more all right this guy I'll set right there oh we didn't show it but he did have to keep her yeah, a little bit for the bolt on both of these holes right here to make it just a little bigger. We don't really need all these washers, but we got them. Ball joint tool. Oh, wrong side. Or will it even go in there? Nope. Goodness, okay, maybe I need to put it in there first. There you go. All right. Nice square around on there. I did not heat it up at all either. I just oh. did it. How's it flush on top of here? Right there. Yep. Appears to be. We're actually on the carrier where this spacer is, and it's going up to here, and then I got these nuts tightening down into the splitter, sucking the bearing cage, the case up. So that's what we're going for here. Uh, let's see what we got.
like this. It, all these are 15 16 We got so lucky like that. So I can just bang these off this. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right. There is our bearing removal tool. No cutting required. This is where everybody should keep your third members at. Yeah. Honestly, it's actually true. It'll keep it cold so when you're ready to put the bearing on and there's no dirt in there. It's a dust-free area. So you don't even have to wrap it up. Great. So we don't have carrier bearings in the building yet. They're gonna be here any minute. And I am trying to put together and guess what we're gonna need. Trixie's here. She come to hang out with me. The carrier's about nine and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna use that big old plate right there. I think I'm gonna go hot with the bearings. We're still figuring it out. We're putting together a little system real quick. Because I wanna be able to do this fast. Yeah.